If you want to find out when someone is lying to you, then you'll want to look out for these six telltale signs that I'm about to share. Now, whether you use this in a personal relationship or with customers and clients in your business, remember the responsibility at the end of the day falls on you. I'm just sharing with you what I found pretty helpful. You can even use this to check with yourself. Maybe you're lying to yourself or maybe you're hiding or withholding something from yourself. First of all, look out for defensiveness. Flustered explanations and an averting attitude really show you that the person is getting uncomfortable. Maybe there's something that they don't want to talk about or they're trying to kind of deviate away from the thing that they're being caught on. The thing is, if we're caught in a lie or somebody realizes that we're not telling the truth, we usually start doubling down and defending and trying to get away from being caught. That's typical human nature. So don't be sent off the trail by a weird explanation or something that doesn't make sense. Dig a little deeper. Don't be afraid to get in there and find out what's really going on. I know that that can be uncomfortable sometimes and especially if we care about somebody, but it's worth it, right? If you're trying to find out what's truly going on, keep asking questions, keep looking for what's really happening underneath the surface. Secondly, watch out for vagueness. If somebody is offering up very few details and being very floaty and wishy-washy about their explanations, then that's really a red flag. You should know that when you have a real experience or you're telling the truth about something, it's not that hard to find a few details to ground the story. And most people will naturally include details in their story because that's how we're wired to share things. In fact, many people overshare and give too many details. And that's usually a sign that they're telling the truth. Of course, if the details start clashing and things aren't matching up anymore, then that's a different thing altogether. But so long as there's very few details and somebody's trying to avoid in-depth explanations, well, then you can get suspicious. This also goes for clear communication. The more vague somebody is being, the less clear they typically are, the more things are just mysterious. And yes, you can see where this is headed. Thirdly, look for indifference. No explanation, absolutely nothing to say, I don't care. Well, that you're probably hiding something, right? Unless you really genuinely don't care and you have to look for that. But a lot of the time indifference is used as a defense mechanism. And so if you spot it, well, again, look into it and explore where is this coming from? Is it genuine indifference or is it an indifference of denial and trying to hide the facts? People who are telling the truth are usually pretty good at giving a reason and explaining why they're saying what they're saying. So it shouldn't be that hard, really, if you think about it. The fourth sign that you should look for to see if somebody might be lying to you is uncertainty. If someone has strong emotions like doubt or confusion, and they're very lost in their own story, they can't really seem to get a grip and a grasp over what they're even saying themselves, well, of course, there's something fishy going on. Yes, there are a few people that just ramble on and make no sense with what they're saying all the time, but most people aren't like that. And when you see somebody behave like this, when they usually don't, what does that tell you? Something is happening on the inside that's causing them to start behaving in this different way and exerting this weird energy that's uncertain and there's so much doubt. Where did all of this come from, you might ask? Well, it might be because they're hiding something, right? Maybe they're not telling you the whole truth. Maybe they're withholding some information. But yeah, uncertainty just creeps up on you when you're not telling the truth. It's going to start to become stronger and then you become even more confused. If somebody's a really good and skilled liar, of course, you probably won't see this in them. But for the average person, it's quite an effective tell. Now, before I get into the last two telltale signs that somebody might be lying to you, and they're really powerful and very revealing, I just wanted to tell you that if you wanna join an amazing community filled with like-minded people, people who are building a business around their passion, six and seven figure entrepreneurs, well then go to eraphael.com and book a free consultation to see if you're a good fit for my program. We only let in people who are serious and who actually want to improve themselves, grow a business around what they love doing, and really they care about making an impact, a positive impact in the world. But if that sounds like you and like something you could benefit from, again, just go to eraphael.com and go ahead and set up that call to see if you qualify. If you decide to take me up on it, I'm looking forward to talking to you soon.
Now back to the telltale signs, the two that we have left. The fifth one is overthinking. Sometimes people take an absurdly long time to answer a question, but very rarely, and usually when they're lying, because when you're overthinking and trying to get everything right and make sure everything matches up, it takes a while, right? You have to use a lot of brain power. You have to cross check that you don't give a detail that's contradicting something you said before. And so now you have to be really careful and that's why you slow down. Now, of course, this isn't the case every time. Sometimes people are just thinking a little bit deeper about what they're going to say. But if you keep spotting the pattern in a conversation where they you know, continue to pause and can't seem to get their thoughts together, that should tell you something. Something weird is definitely going on. And finally, the sixth telltale sign, the most powerful of them all, that reveals whether or not someone is lying. It's inconsistency. When somebody starts altering their story or changing how they talk, then you know something is definitely up, right? Because if they told you one thing before and they're telling you something completely different now or something very different, noticeably different, well, hey, they probably forgot that they told you the first thing or they mixed something up in their head who they said what to and they might be lying to multiple people. So this is really you catching them in the act most of the time. Of course, again, there can be an exception, a very rare exception, but usually when people are very inconsistent in what they tell you, then that means they could be lying to you. Don't forget, use this with care. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you drop me a like and don't lie. I'll know if you lied and didn't press the like button. <laughs> Please do it for the algorithm. I really appreciate you and hope you have an amazing rest of your day.